All right, YouTube. I was real hesitant on making another video due to the last ones that the uh, quite a few people had some negative things to say, and you know that just kind of ruins wanting to make videos and wanting to help people out. But I'm not going to let a few bad apples ruin everything for everybody. I really enjoy watching Grave Digger Max and his videos, along with Darnell Hello World Metal Detecting Williams. He's also got a Nokia Impact and. He's part of our Facebook Nokia Impact group and forum, which is a Facebook group. We've got just a little over 200 people. We're all trying to learn together from all different parts of the world. We've got Germany and the UK, Switzerland, the United States. We've got quite a few people. It's a pretty good group of guys. Um, there's not much on the impact when it comes to highly mineralized soils and sand, let alone the salt water. There's quite a few detectors out there that say they specialize in being in the salt water but the the impact just really advertises to be the best detector all around and that's for each and everybody's old own opinion but every day is a new experience with it the note to impact is a new machine it's uh, definitely new to me it's my first detector my first big boy detector I guess I would say and um, I had an opportunity the other day. I took a short hunt that ended up being about two hours. I took a lot of footage. I had a lot of video, but I'm not a video producer. I'm not a photographer of any means. I, I'm actually not very good with the camera at all. And I deleted quite a bit of the material that I had. But um, anyway, I did tell the guys and gals in the group that I was going to make a video, so I threw together what I had. It might be a little chopped up, it might not make sense, but the main purpose of the video was just to show how the detector worked in the heavy salt and heavy minerals sand. And the detector itself is not waterproof, but the uh, coil and stuff is, so which makes it a little bit harder to take it in the water. You've got to be a little more careful and cautious and it takes a lot more thinking you know the one wave over the over your hand and you might be kissing your detector goodbye it might not ever turn on again so you know you just got to be careful and be mindful and so I hope you enjoy it and uh, hope to see you all again thank you see when you get out here in the water you get the uh, high tone for the overload so I found the best way in COG mode to remedy that. As you see now, it's at 70. The best way to remedy that is to take the gain down to 49. And once you get it down that way, she's quiet and will start digging targets. So stand by, see what I can uh, strum up and we'll come back to you. All right, YouTube, we're out here in the Chesapeake Bay in the water with the Nokia Impact. Got uh, the detector set in COG mode. And we've got the gain back down to 49. It seems to stop it doing the overload once you get it back that far. And... Um, we're detecting in water just above where the uh, shaft has the separation at. So possibly a good two feet or so deep. And uh, you can see there's no chatter whatsoever. There's no overload. There's no um, falsing of any sorts. And there's lots of aluminum cans right on the surface that you can't miss. So uh, there you go. I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll come back when I can find something. Thank you. I don't know if y'all could see the coil. 
down in the water. But the water's pretty clear. Not very many signals though. Been digging a lot of trash. A lot of big aluminum cans. Actually see them on the top. But I'll go ahead and uh, fire this thing back off when I can find a target. The last uh, target was a pull tab, but I've come across another one. Seems to be a high tone. So we'll get her dug and see what it is. Stand by. That one would have been a quarter. The numbers come in just about the same as they do in the DI3 mode. So let's carry on and see what else we can find. Alright. Here we've got a 68, 69, 70 in that area. From what I have been digging, I'd almost assure you that it's a pop top. But we'll go ahead and dig it and see if I can get it in the first scoop or not. Nope. Alright YouTube, I'm back out here in the water again. I mean a decent high tone. This is about five inches in the target depth. Stand by, we'll see what we got. Quarter. First scoop. Alright, see you on the next one. Now I thought I'd come up here on the uh, water's edge as well. Wet, wet sand. To give everybody an idea how to milk the impact also works in the uh, wet stuff you got it in cog mode you can actually bump the gain back up in the 70s when you're up here in the wet stuff it's not as effective as it is in the water just make sure you get your ground balance it says the ground balance is at zero three and then just go on your way and as soon as I find a nice target, I'll uh, come back with y'all. Here's a solid 86, 87. quarter that's right here on the water's edge in the wet sand stand by see what else we can find <laughs> 